Hello everyone. Today we are going to see Arduino program for LED blinking. In this, we are going to see how an LED can be connected and how the LED can be blinked with the help of your Arduino. For that purpose, we will require some hardware kit. Let us see what we are going to use in this. First hardware kit that we are going to use is this breadboard. What breadboard we are going to use here. Then we have this Arduino. This is Arduino Uno that we are going to use. Here we have LED. We will be requiring some jumper wires that we are going to use. These are some jumper wires. Then we will require this cable for connecting your Arduino with the IDE software. This is related with hardware part that we are going to use. Now we will see the IDE part of your Arduino for that purpose. What you need to do is just go to Google. Here you need to download Arduino IDE. So in Google search Arduino IDE, there you will see the first link software Arduino.cc software. Click on that. It will open official website of Arduino that is Arduino.cc. Here you can see various downloading IDE available over here. Here you need to download Windows 7 and newer version. So we are going to download the Arduino IDE that is recent version 1.8.19 for Windows 7 and Windows 8, 9 and above. So click here. When you click on this, it will ask you for next window. Here you just need to click on just download no need to contribute if you want to contribute you can contribute or simply click on just download when you click on this it will start downloading the arduino software for windows once it is get downloaded what you need to do is you simply need to install it click on next next you will get this arduino ide like this this is arduino ide Here you can see at this part, you need to write your code, whatever coding you need to do related with your, let's say LED, any sensor, DHT sensor, IR sensor, you need to write the code for your IDE over here. So before starting with our coding part, let's start with hardware interfacing. For that purpose, we will see how we are going to interface Arduino with your LED. So first of all, take your, this is Arduino and this is your breadboard. What we need to do is we need to interface this Arduino. So as you know, LED have two pins, ground and VCC. Longer one is your VCC and shorter one is your ground. So we will be requiring two pins. Just connect your this jumper wire. Let's say our by default pin for Arduino is 13. So here on this board, you can see 13 number pin over here. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13. 13 number pin is your VCC pin and above 13, there is your ground pin. So we are going to connect VCC and ground like this. So this VCC is connected over here and this ground pin is connected over here. Now we will make one more connection like this because we need to connect your LED pin. So we are going to connect like this. This is my pin and it is connected in this line. Now this is what ground and VCC is ready. Now my requirement is I need to connect LED. 
so here you can see in case of your led there is one long pin and there is another pin is your short pin so long pin is your vcc and short pin is your ground so we will see ground is green color so this is what we are going to connect like this so this is the connection that i did here you can see green color pin is connected to ground and yellow color pin is connected to your pin number 13 that is your default digital pin of arduino once you connect your default pin with the arduino you do not have to write the pin number so this is what the connection for blinking of led with arduino now we will see this led whether it will blink or not for that purpose this is hardware interfacing part now we will see the coding part now here in this coding you need to open this ide and that ide will be here we have some default code like we have default code for your led blinking also so go to tools before starting with your coding part we need to set the board so go to tools we need to select there are so many arduino boards available over here our board is arduino uno so we are going to select this arduino uno then again go to tools and go to port here up till now we have not connected our arduino board with your pc so what we need to do is see here on the video i have this usb cable that usb cable will be connected at this port here you can see the port for this port we are going to connect this like this and it will be connected with your cpu usb pin is going to be connected with cpu as soon as you connect you can see light will going to start blinking it is already started because code is already there let me clean it. it it is cleared now led blinking will be stopped this is what the coding part this is what the connectivity that we are going to do over here we have not set the port so it is connected with com port 4 go to port here we can see on the screen you can see com 4 is for arduino uno so it is connected now now we are going to clean it yes now you can see led will not blink now our next task is what we need to do is we need to write the code for led blinking so this is what the connectivity we did for LED Arduino connectivity part on the screen. Let me start the screen. Now connectivity part is over. Now see on the screen coding part. File examples basic and there is one basic code of your blinking. This is what the coding part of your here you can see. Let me remove unwanted code so that you will come to know. Now this is what coding before explaining this code. Let me run this. Let me show you the output so that you will come to know how it will work. So this tick symbol is for compiling. So let us compile this. You can see on the bottom it is there is no error. That's why it is showing like this. Then this is here you can see. Now see, see on the screen, you can see LED is blinking now, see this, 
now let me explain this code if you can see on the screen we have successfully implemented led connectivity with arduino now see now you can see the coding part on the screen let me explain this code there are two functions namely setup and loop whatever sensor data you need to write that particular part will be written in your loop part and if you want to do some setup related or initialization part it will be done in your setup part so what we are going to do is we are going to set the pin that means on which pin led should glow that will be written with the help of your pin mode function here we are going to initialize this pin mode function that is my pin number that is led underscore built in we are going to use built in pin for led glow and the built in pin is pin number 13 remember for arduino your built in digital pin is pin number 13 we are going to use built in digital pin for led and what we need to do we need to display the output that's why we are writing output like this this is what the setup part is now what we are going to do we have to start the coding part for your led on and off so we have loop function loop function will continuously loop for on and off purpose here there is a digital write function this digital write function will going to write your whatever code we are writing all that particular coding part will be written on your arduino part that's why we are having digital write function this is my pin number and high means led will be on if we make it high led will be on if we make it low led will be off so what is the meaning of this line led will be turned on on which pin number pin number 13 that is your digital built-in pin for how many times for 1000 millisecond that means for one second then led will be off for how many second for one second so this will be in the loop so it will be continuously executing for your what unless and until we don't stop the code so your led will be high and led will be low for one second as per the delay given in the coding part this is what related with your arduino and led blinking program thank you